Notion is too complicated. That is what a lot of people think. But that's simply not true. You can make a Notion dashboard in 60 seconds with a to-do list, a calendar, and a project management system. Again, in only 60 seconds from scratch. All right, so here's our empty dashboard. Let's start the timer. I'm going to do forward slash data, click on table view, add new task and or data, and let's do to do, do forward slash data to table this. Click on new table, and I'm going to call this projects list, and then I'm going to click on plus here. Again, do forward slash calendar, click on calendar view. This time we're going to select to do. Click on that to do here. These ones are the same. Delete this tax property, delete there, add a plus here. This plus here is going to be a checkbox. Just do a space bar for that and click on the plus here. This plus here is going to be relation. This relation here is going to talk to the projects. Project, I think I called it project lists. We're going to show on projects list, add relation. There we go. And now we are also going to click here, click on properties, and we are going to say that we want to see the checklist and we want to see the projects list involved. And then up here, we're going to add a filter and we want the date to be empty. And there we go. In 60 seconds, we have a Notion dashboard from scratch. So first off, I'm going to make this pretty, which yes, I guess takes a bit longer, but we have our to-do list here. Then we have our calendar here, and then we have our projects list here. So I guess I can actually delete this property in hindsight. So in here is where you'll write all your projects. So I'll just write project one, project two, project three. So this project list here is talking to this to-do database. This to-do database is the same as this database here. So if I add anything in here, example task, and then if I add a date to it like this, you can see it gets removed from here and it shows up in here. So the idea with this dashboard is this is all of your to-dos that haven't been scheduled. So you can see them at the top, or if you don't want them at the top, you can do the calendar at the top and have that underneath. And there's two ways of adding tasks. If we say do thing, then what I could do here is just drag this in like that. And again, it gets removed from here and shows up here. Or you can just click here on date and then add the date like that. Gets removed from here, shows up here. And what you can do is tick in the tasks like this so you can see that you've done them. And if you click here on projects list, you could say that do thing is to do with project one. So as you can see now, it says project one underneath here. So we have do thing. Yes, it's complete and it's to do with project one. If we scroll down, we can see here under the projects list to do is under project one. And if we open this up here, we can see all of the different tasks to do with project one. It's sitting here under to do. So we'll get a full list here. So if I add this as well, task list, add that to project one, we can see that it shows up in here, do thing, an example task. So it really is that easy to make a Notion dashboard with a project list, a to-do list, and a calendar. Now, if you want a dashboard that took me longer than 60 seconds to make, then check out Headquarters. It has a five-star rating with over 1,200 users. It is a lot more advanced than this. Yes, it has features that I've seen nowhere else like dynamic journaling, a time tracking feature that breaks it down by project and life bucket. It also has quick notes and a bunch of other features. Click on this video here to check it out and thank you for watching.